So just across from CBS News, CBS Interactive, is this little gem. Today we're here for Strad for lunch on Wednesdays at 12.30 in the afternoon. There's a recital by a young violinist with a Stradivarius. The hall sits over here. And the concert will begin in about 20 minutes, so we're a little bit early. The pianist is rehearsing. And we'll take a little bit of an introduction beforehand. Hey, it's Peter Berninger. I'm here in New York City. This is Emmanuel. Yes, my name is Emmanuel Gradumat. Uh, Emmanuel owns the violin repair shop here on 28th Street. Sebastian's his assistant and he's diligently working and gluing, so I won't bother him. But next door there's a concert hall, or recital hall. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Well, the name of the concert hall is a WMP. Concert Hall. Uh, it stands for Workshop for Music Performance. And that was started about three years ago. We just renovated the stage and added a wood shell to make it a little bit more live sound wise. Uh, it's supported by a, a non for profit uh, company that is called WMP Concert Hall Corporation. And uh, it's helped by donation from people that come to the hall to the concerts. So we, we have really interesting series of concerts. One of them is Strad for lunch. And it is just like it says, it, uh, a violin by Stadivari is being played by a young player or old player Excellent. at lunch on every Wednesday. And after we uh, finish up our interview here, we're going to go over and listen to Strad at lunch. The acoustics are wonderful over there. Did you uh, have uh, any trouble when you first moved in here with acoustics? Because they seem very good now. Well, uh, yes, because at first, I mean, we wanted to make a wood shell on the stage, but I didn't have the funds, so we had to do with what we had. And the, 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 the acoustics were good, interesting for a violin maker, for a violin sound adjuster, because the sound was very dry but very tough for players. And uh, after about, I mean, after about two years, we decided to build this shell, which makes it a little bit more difficult for me to listen to the sound of the instrument without having the sound being em em embellified, made more beautiful by the shell. And, and uh, but for the players and the public, it's much better. That's, a, that's interesting. In audio, in reproduction of audio, we prefer to have it more natural yes, exactly. than having it more beautiful. Sometimes beauty hides realism. That's right. If that and makes sense? Yes, exactly. Yes. That's exactly the, what we went with. with. At first, it was much more the sound of a sound studio, where I, had, I listened at, from the sound of an instrument as just that sound, nothing changed by the echo, by the room, by, and, but we had, we had to do a compromise. And in a way, the, the, the reason the sound is so great now, and it's been told again and again by so many of top players, from, uh, from Anne-Sophie Mutter to André Prévin, and on and on, have told us that the acoustic is just marvelous. And I think because it, it is a compromise between having the pure, sound of the instrument and some amplification by by the the, 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 the hall. 